There are few spectacular places left untouched in this world. See pyramids in Giza or marvel at Paris from the top of the Eiffel Tower and there's a good chance you won't feel special. On the Faroe Islands is a different story. Here you feel special. You know, like when you're on the guest list to an exclusive private event. In this video, we will be the special reporters reporting from this event. We will be asking a lot of questions and hopefully get a lot of answers. After a 32-hour boat ride from Denmark, we had arrived in Torshavn, which is our home for our seven day stay. And from here the journey continues. And we have the two old farts with us. Everything will be a little bit slower when we have you. And everything is put on camera by Grumpy Young. <laughs> because this is very early morning for him. Do you have more sunglasses? Am I, am I, it's, it's very powerful, the sun. Mm. I know. The first question we had was if the weather really is as terrible as they say. And right off the bat, the conclusion was yes. With an average of 210 rainy days per year, Costa del Sol isn't exactly around the corner. But what do you expect when you're only a few hundred kilometers away from Iceland? We knew the weather isn't great here, so no rain or wind could impact our excitement of being here. Apparently it's uh, not free to drive around on Faroe Islands, so we have to pay for this tunnel. It says 100 kroners, that's 14 euros for our round trip. So it's potentially pretty expensive to get around because these tunnels are everywhere. The Faroe Islands consist of 18 major islands. Most of them are interconnected with state-of-the-art tunnels. That's very impressive for a self-governing nation of just 55,000 people with almost no financial support from Denmark. But it wasn't always like that. In the old days, before we had the tunnel, we had to take a ferry from here. But once we went, we came to Westmanner. There was this Grentedrap, the killing of whales, the whole uh, fjord. Is Red with blood. One of the most controversial things about the Faroe Islands is the whale killing. Back in the day food was scarce, so it was a big celebration as it meant food on the table for months to come. But before we go deeper into this topic, let's do a bit of sightseeing. There are sheep everywhere. They mounted GoPros on those to get street view because Google didn't want to do it. Our first day was dedicated to the third biggest island, Vaga, located in the far west. This is where you find perhaps the most stunning scenery on the Faroe Islands. We drove through the little town Sandavagur to reach what is known as the witch's finger. Legend has it that it's the finger of a witch that came to throw the Faroe Islands to Iceland, but when she came to the sea south of Vaga, the sun came up and she was turned into stone, falling into the ocean. So it is actually 12, 13 degrees here in the Faroe Islands today, but due to the wind it feels freezingly cold. Like every time you get out of the car it's just like... So windy, yeah. <laughs> so Faroe Islands is expensive, but gas is cheaper than Denmark. We actually wanted to go to this place called Draganir, which is perhaps the most iconic viewpoint of the island. But today, due to mist and rain, we are not going to see anything. And it's a long hike there. It's five kilometers. We could take a boat there. We got an offer, but it was 700 euros. For the four of us. For the four of us in a little boat on a three hour cruise. And this is also where we are going to Mykines, which is right here. Uh, we have a boat ride booked and this is where you see the puffins. So the way we planned our trip was to actually follow the itineraries and suggestions by one of the top tour guides on the Faroe Islands. His name is Xavier Mifsud and it's all available on Rexby where you can get access to both his 5 and 10 day itinerary and full access to the entire map. So each day we simply followed one of the days from the itinerary that looked appealing and then when we drove around we would always be looking on the map to see if there are any other cool points of interest. It's basically like having a tour guide in your hand because you always have access to this expert knowledge. Wherever you go you will know where to park your car, what to bring, in addition to information about the actual place. The guide covers all the islands and it includes the best hotels and restaurants. This has been so helpful and time-saving on our trip planning because we have been able to avoid making mistakes like doing things that just weren't worth doing. We've become friends with Xavier and he has been kind enough to make you guys the discount code Stay Classy, which gives you 10% off when you opt in for the unlimited access. 
We have linked to the map and the itineraries below, so go take a look at it. Found to Mitenes, where is it from here? It's not the green one, it's just a little bit. Yeah, it's fine, but you're 10 minutes away. Yeah, but it's because it's chaos in summer, otherwise... No. Er det det? Ej, fuldt op med biler, du ved. Man kan slet ja. ikke arbejde eller noget som helst derude. Det er god arbejdsløs, det er da ja. hårdt arbejde. Ja, ja, ja. Nå, skal gøre det. Ja, det er det. <laughs> ja, tak. Hej, hej. Well prepared for our Mykines adventure to come, we continued up the west coast to the beautiful Mulafossua waterfall. One of the places that really made me want to go to Fair Island. It's so beautiful. I wish we could bathe there, but yeah. it's too cold. But we are looking into like, is there any story behind this area? And we can't find much, but there is a place who insist that they really have local food. They're selling uh, this is the rhabarb, rhabarb. This is an uh, endemic plant to Faroe Islands, you make snaps out of that. Already we had a good first impression of the Faroe Islands and its people. The most local food you have. Yeah, chef joke. That's a local beer. Very smart <laughs> Delicious, very simple. We are actually sitting in a butchery here because in October all the sheep are actually hanging here, bleeding off until they're going in the chakle, which is where they dry and salt the meat so that you can eat it all year round without it getting rotten. Går man nogensinde på stranden her på færerne? Hvad er det varmeste du har oplevet vejret her på færerne? Nej, det varmeste i mig jeg husker, det er vist nok omkring de 20 grader. 20 grader? Ja. ja. Det er ikke så mange år siden. Så kan man jo godt gå på stranden. <laughs> men det gør det alligevel. Nu, nu, er, nu er det så moderne med vinterbarten. Det var virkelig hjemme. <laughs> tak for god mad. Det var godt hjemme. Hej hej. Hej hej. So the reason why it said 007 on the bus is because this is the island where James Bond died in the last movie. We just made a quick stop in Bau, which is a quaint little town with 74 people living here. And here, most of the houses are covered with the grass insulation. I think it is perhaps the most beautiful and organic way to insulate a house. But how do they mow the lawn when the grass gets too long? Easy! You put a sheep there. Behind these incredibly cute houses, you can see our goal in the distance. Draganir. I really enjoyed this. This is so tranquil. It is time for a little house tour. I got a reservation. You did? At a burger joint. <laughs> We've been spending the last I think hour trying to figure out where we are having dinner tonight. Uh, it turns out there are two issues here. One issue is that it is extremely expensive. We found a steakhouse. The average cost for a steak is 60 euros. It's yeah. not that we don't want to pay it's just that this is our first day. We have seven days. We need to count our 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 pennies. No, but actually the main issue is to get a reservation. Yeah. I've been calling so many places and been trying to book online. So that's a problem because there's not a lot of restaurants here and it's high season. What do you think about our hotel room? I like it. This is our bathroom. Beautiful. And we have a stunning view to the parking lot. The mini bar is also a good example of the prices here. This one is 185 Danish kroners. It's a half a bottle. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it takes time to get used to these prices. Especially when you live in Portugal, where it's six times cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, not me, 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 me,
They're playing my dad's favorite song. So Can we cheer on our first dining experience? <laughs> on the 10 scale, how great was the burger? I would say nine. Instead of spending 400 euros on steaks and beverages, we thoroughly enjoyed burgers and drinks for less than 100 euros. So it doesn't have to be expensive to eat out. Mom and dad were happy. Good The following day, we continued our exploration on the island of Stremoy, which means saving money on tunnels. On the north side of this island, you have two points of particular interest, and Saxon is one of them. The drive up here alone is enough to truly make you appreciate the beauty of the Faroe Islands. We couldn't believe how untouched the nature is. Everything is organic looking with no modern architectural torn in the eye. Upon arrival, the natural beauty continued to impress us. Saxon really is straight out of a fairy tale. Unfortunately, it seems like the locals don't want to share this place with tourists. There's only 10 people living here. 100 years ago, there were 55. At the parking lot, you immediately get a feeling of not being welcome. Don't trespass, don't fly your drone, keep off the fence, keep off the grass, don't bring your dog, residents only access here. Even the geese didn't want us to be there. Of course, the privacy of the locals should be respected, but it was obvious that they just didn't want tourists to come. Even accessing the beach had been designed to discourage tourists from going, as you have to pay a 10 euro fee. Apparently, they charge tourists to access many of the highlights around the island, but it's actually not legal, according to a local lawyer we talked with. This is what sets apart an honest person and a and dishonest person. <laughs> I'm not paying 10 euros per person just by principle to see a beach. No. But this uh, used to be a natural harbor but then there was a big storm that filled it with sand so now it's uh, basically uh, a, beach. Uh, a beach and you can walk very far out yes. although disappointed with the very limited saxon hospitality the mood was high and we set sail to another fairy tale world known as Chernevik. It is 16 degrees right here, heat wave. Driving here reminded us of how few people you actually see here. Although hotels and restaurants are completely booked in Torshavn, you don't get the feeling that we are in the high season. Once we got around the corner to Chernevik, we were met by a stunning view. ready to conquer the rain now. But it's been beautiful uh, weather today. Yes. Actually, warmer than the fixed 11 degrees that the forecast has been saying the last month. And now we are here in this, uh, it's almost like the end of the world. Tjernevik. Honestly, the surroundings here. This it, it doesn't get better. Especially surfers come here due to its perfect conditions. Anyway, it was time for a scenic lunch. So we're saving money today. We have to save money. Here's yours. I have never felt more near in Denmark than now. No, it's not slud, and it's so hygglig. I love mad pap. It's just pap ping. We have free breakfast at the hotel, and we took advantage of that. After lunch, we found a little house that offered waffles and coffee. We began for waffle and coffee. Yeah, to go welcome. So can you stay over for? No, it doesn't work. What do you do? He lived with me. I'm called Hans Espen. This little Strandby home is here. People live here on 600 tallet. How long have the ferries been here? Uh, yeah, that was a good question. The Icelanders told us that the Sjøsyge went to land for the ferries, but the others. De stærke, de kom til Island. Og hvor mange vafler nu, du får styre mig. <laughs> det er en god forretning, du har her. Så er det det. Vi har lige været i Saxon. Ja. Det, det var sådan en indtryk, vi fik, at de ikke er meget for, at der kommer turister. Fik du det indtryk? Er det, er det, noget, som, er det noget, som er generelt for føring, at de, de helst ikke vil have turister herop? Det, det, sådan... det vil jeg slet ikke udhælde mig om. <laughs> I, I love that they have here on Faroe Islands this 
homey vibe to the cafes. I mean, we're inside a house. The the way that we felt when we were in the other little town, where we felt not welcome, this guy definitely makes up for it, because here you feel very, very welcome. Skide gode vafler. Ja, ja. Det er magi. Du er en blæksprutte. Ja, ja, en Hej. Jeg har kamera med, men det er vi nødt til at dokumentere det her. Hej. Hej. Hi, hi, hi. Here, at the end of the world, we bumped into family. This is my father's cousin, and they haven't seen each other for 20 years. Ja. Så, så og jeg... Så, jeg har en søn, og der er du... Øh, grandfætter. Ja, grandfætter, og han har fire børn, og okay. de bor i Aarhus, og det er så... Og jeg ved, Aarhus? Ja, ja, ja. Det er smukt her. Det er næsten den smukkeste by. Det er det smukkeste? Ja, det, ja, det er synes I, men jeg synes, Danmark er meget dejlig og meget. <laughs> det, er, det er i hvert fald varmere også. Mej. Running into close family here was so cool and so surreal. And another cousin also lived here, and he was not expecting us, as you can tell. <laughs> it was my first time meeting him, and what a character. Nu var vi saxum før, og der der de der var der virkede de ikke særlig velkomne over for turister. Du ved, du må ikke flyve drone, du må ikke gå på græs, så du skal betale for at gå ned til stranden og så ja, ja. Er, er det sådan en generel holdning i ja, færgerne, at man jeg, gider vi, ikke have turister her? Nej, du, vi ønsker også selvfølgelig, da vi ønsker, du er helvede. <laughs> I går, så skulle vi ud og spise. Ja. Og øh, så sidder vi og kigger på menuerne hjemmefra og får et chok over, at det koster 460 kroner for en bøf. Hvad, har det altid været så dyrt på færgerne? Eller nej, det er det bare blevet på sidst. Men øh, nu er det, nu kommer den helvedes masse turister, hvad? så kan man med maske så meget som muligt. Ja? <laughs> Sitting here with Ferry's family, it was only natural to ask about whale killing and how the locals view it. Men jeg har boet her op, og det været to gange ind, 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 ind i bukken. Ja. Hvor mange valer ser man så herinde? Det kan være altså, vel fra 3 til 300. Men hvad, hvad er din holdning til? Du ved, udefra der er der rigtig mange holdninger til, at det er... Ja, det er udefra, men indefra er det ingen holdning. Nej, okay. Okay. Det er det ikke holdning. Så det var der med det, delfinerne? Det. Ja, der var der, der, ja. Men det var så en lille snak, så det er væk. Ja, det, var, ja, det, var, det, det skulle vi ikke have gjort. We agree that it can seem barbaric to kill whales by the hundreds, but we also have to keep in mind that it's a tradition and an important part of the Faroese history that goes back to the 9th century. What is important to also understand is that the whale killing is sustainable in the sense that less than 2,000 per year are killed out of a population of 800,000. This means that these whales will never become endangered. Yeah, man, they were... Go on, um, no, they were my litter. They were... 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 They How did it feel to, to see your long-lost family, Fa? It was a hit. <laughs> Do you get emotional? Yeah, a little. A little. The following day, it was time to explore the island of Esteroy. To get there, you drive via the new underwater tunnel, which is an experience in itself. We are entering the world's first underground roundabout. Look at this. Wow. Can we stop her? Du kan rundt to gange før. Ja, 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 ja. The weather was fairly depressing once again, but out of nowhere we entered a stunning valley of sun. In this valley we passed Funingur, which is said to be the oldest village of the Faroe Islands. The GPS was set to Juk, which is only reachable via these curvy mountain roads. Three days into our Faroe Island exploration, it was overwhelming to see just how idyllic this place is. The Faroe Islands feel like a parallel universe to the rest of the world. It's unspoiled perfection. We are Yev. The weather here is just so ever-changing. We were starting out in just heavy, heavy fog, and then suddenly it opens up, and then it closes down, and then it opens up. And right now we are at a place that is considered a very nice summer vacation spot for the local people here. And I'm starting to understand why, because the sun is shining right here. We had dinner yesterday with the Faroes fa family and they said there is always somewhere on the Faroe Islands. Where you find the sun. So here it's actually like proper summer. 
we could easily put on our bathing suit and jump in this water because when the sun is out, it feels like Madeira, where we live. Over there, there are puffins. These are the cutest birds that I've ever seen. We've been wanting to see these birds ever since we knew we were going to go to Fair Islands. But my parents, they just called and said that they are invited into a house by a woman who knows my father's family. Hi, 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 hi. hello. Oh, oh, hi, Amelia. She's a good here. Oh, it's smug. It's smug. It's smug. You can have a nice day here. Come in and see what we have. No? Oh, wow, 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 wow. No, it's just so nice, right? Is it classic for you to go over here? Yeah, yeah. Det, det vil jeg sige. Hvad er det bedste ved at bo på færgerne, og hvad er det værste? Altså, jeg synes, det er ikke noget, der er værst. Det bedste er at være her, og, og vi har det så godt på færgerne, og jeg vil ikke bo noget andet sted. Du synes ikke, vinteren er for lange? Nej, det synes jeg ikke. Altså, men det er det. Det tager lidt tid, yeah. når sommeren kommer. Yeah. Yeah. Det gør det. Yeah. Og det må vi bare leve med. Yeah, yeah. Og det er vi så vant til, og det er... Hvad er det, der gør færgerne så specielt for dig? Altså, jeg synes, det er så smukt på færgen. Ja. Ja. Når vi kører og ser, ja. hvor flot det er. Ja, ja. Det er altså, det, bliver, det er så smukt. Ja, det er. Der, Men kan du ja, godt lide ja. turister her? Ja, det kan jeg godt. Tusind tak. Jeg har ikke noget der. Og hygge jer, og From Gjøk, we drove to another small village called Elduvik, where we enjoyed our homemade lunch. Although the folks love lunch packs, me and Amalie were desperate to try more of the traditional Faroe East cuisine, but there just aren't restaurants in most of these villages. So we are on day three of our Faroe Island exploration, and we're starting to get a better idea of what this place is all about. It's a part of Denmark, but yet it's so far from what Denmark is mm -hmm. in, in language, in culture, in, in gastronomy, in mentality. And of course, in nature. To me, <coughs> this is the revival of, of, of my childhood and youth. I find it's so quite different from Denmark. We're very different and I find the nature is fantastic. I like it, yeah. but I, I couldn't live here. So we've been saying that it's super expensive to be a tourist on the Faroe Islands. But what about grocery shopping? It's time to check out the shopping experience here on Faroe Island. We are in the SMS mall. Let's go ahead, huh? Let's go in. 40 cents for a banana. 1 euro. 70 cents. 2 euros for an avocado. 190 for a liter of milk. Six organic eggs are three and a half euros. A large bottle of Pepsi is a whopping four euros. So all alcohol you have to buy in a designated shop. Prices for non-alcoholic beer is similar to Copenhagen. 200 euro for a Dom Perignon. They pay as normal it costs 150. The absolute cheapest is around 10 euros. 60 kroner for a six pack. 214 kroner. Prices are probably 35% to 40% higher compared to Denmark. What has been the gastronomical highlight so far? The dinner we had yesterday by far, where we went to a local family and we had like real Faroe Islandic lamb and it was delicious. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Why are we so lucky? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So we get 20% off. We get a free double cheeseburger. We get free dip and ketchup. And now we get two Sundays. Thank you. <laughs> we are in Torshavn, the capital, for the first time. Actually seeing it in here. It's been cloudy and rainy since we arrived. But there is a melancholic, cool vibe here. Uh, maybe she's ordering a pizza. The number one pizza in town. It's not that we don't want to explore the cuisine of Faroe Islands, but everything is booked here. Uh, you have to be two weeks early to get a table at some of these restaurants. Oh. That's yours, yours, I think. Oh. How many years have you been here? Ten years. Ten years? Yes. And you see a lot more tourists the last years? The last five years. Yeah? The last five years. Yeah. Manga tak. Manga tak. Manga tak. Tak fire. Tak fire. Tak fire. Go on da. Har det godt? Pass go. Go after. Go after. Hi, hi. Hi. Today is the day we're going to see puffins. We've been waiting for this day since we booked the trip for Fair Island. You park here and then you walk all the way over there. Er det godt vejr på myggen i dag? 
Ja, det er svært at sige, men det, det håber jeg. Det er nok sikkert noget af det samme som det her. So the boat ride is 45 minutes and we're actually passing Dragania, which is the place we really want to go but have yet to actually hike to because it's quite a bit of an adventure. As it turns out, the boat trip to Mykines is also a mini sightseeing trip as we were taking past the iconic stone of Dragania we've been dying to see. Considering we had only paid 170 euros for four round trip tickets, this seemed like the best deal as opposed to the 700 euro boat trip we had been offered earlier. From Dragonia we sailed towards Mykines, where we were continuously spoiled with stunning scenery and epic bird life. After 45 minutes we arrived to what felt like the most isolated village island on the planet. And the crazy thing is that there are people actually living here all year round. Uh, lift? <laughs> Det er far for, at det hele falder sammen. Det er derfor, man ikke må gå op til. Det er længere ud. Jeg skal, jeg skal her hjem. Det er et veldig stort sted, skal jeg det her i vinters. Ja. Så der er 15 people living here i Mykines. De har en helikopter, der tager dem back and forth. Og det er ekstremt cheap. Det er like mere end 20 euro at gå på the helikopter. As we started walking towards the puffins, a helikopter came to drop off a mini excavator. We just talked with a local here and he said that usually they charge 35 euros per person to walk here, uh, but they are sick. The actual walk that we want to walk on is close due to landslides. Although we weren't able to do the hike we came for, we still got all the puffin action we could have hoped for. Puffins are known as the clowns of the sea. They are some of the most fascinating birds in addition to overload cuteness. They can fly up to 88 kilometers an hour. And using their cute feet as a rudder, they can dive up to 60 meters deep in search for their favorite fish. What makes me and Jon love the puffins even more is that they are faithful birds with lifelong partners for as long as 20 years. I didn't even know that these birds birds actually existed because when you see photos of them it's like they're out of a Pixar movie. Yeah, they look unreal, they look animated. Yeah, it's a, I think it's the cutest bird of all time. So far Mykines was the highlight of our trip. This is truly a heaven for nature lovers and introverts. I think perhaps this is the most remote you can live in the world. Two words that sums up Faroe Islands is untouched nature. The air is incredibly fresh. I don't think I've ever been in air this fresh. This is the first time on the Faroe Islands where we don't need our jackets. Where a t-shirt is sufficient. How many are there in the city? On winter is it 7 or 8? 8 or 8? On winter? Yeah. On summer? Maybe 15-20. 15-20? But it's all summer house. Are there any schools here? No, if you go a little further up, there's only a school there. No? Okay. Det er 10-15 år siden, da det sidste barn gik i skole. Hvordan får folk mad her? Så, så kommer båden ind hver dag? Og så med uh, helikopteren også. Man kan, man kan gå hele vejen op uh, og, og så hike hele vejen på tværs af, 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 af øen. Ja, ja. Hvis du bare går op, så kan du gå hele vejen. Du kan gå op den vej. Coming back to the village, we were happy to find out that there is a restaurant and a good one. Du, du bor her på øen? Nej, jeg bor ikke nej. på øen. Nej. Vi bor i Torshavn. Okay, okay så du pendler bare hver dag? Nej, nej, vi bor her om sommeren. Nå, no, okay, okay. Ja, okay. Vi er, når vi ejer den her café. Okay. Ja. okay. Og det er sådan en familiecafé. Keder man sig nogensinde her? Eller? Man keder sig? Ja. Nej. Hvad får I tiden til at gå med? Vi har en restaurant. Ja, så vi er på arbejde hele tiden. Det er fra klokken 7 til klokken 12 om aftenen. Okay. okay. 
Så I har jo, men du kan se, hvor mange mennesker der er her. Hvad er signaturretten her? Ja, hvad skal man spise her? Er det fiskesuppen? Ja, fiskesuppen er det bedste her. Okay. Helt sikkert. Mm. This is even better than Burger King. So as cute as the puffins are, the locals actually used to kill them back then. Living here on this island, food was very scarce. The guy on the photo is the grandfather of the husband of the woman in the kitchen. But people have been dying throughout the years from catching these birds because it's so dangerous. After finally getting some delicious fairies food and falling deeply in love with the puffin island, it was time to sail back. We have to appreciate the fact that we've been so lucky with the weather today. More interesting is that the water here can be so rough that sometimes the boat can't sail here. And people have been stuck here on the island before where they couldn't get back to shore and they had to just stay here overnight. In June alone there was a full week where the boat didn't sail and during winter it doesn't sail at all. My father just told me that he has tasted puffin. I don't remember it. 65 years ago, no. Again, the skipper spoiled us with more free sightseeing where we got to see the other side of Mykines. We did not expect this on the return trip. Wow, 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 we... Could you have better weather? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so huh? In fact, the whole trip back to Servago was phenomenally beautiful. <laughs> Sup, sup. My love for fast food has been rejuvenated here in Faroe Island. The morning after it finally happened. The sun was shining in Chorshavn. Five days it took for the rainy clouds to clear, which made us wonder how many sunny days you actually get here. After all, this is early July, and if sunny days are so rare this time of year, what about winter where the sun barely shows up? As much as we love being here on the Faroe Islands, the weather is a significant downside to living here. And we did talk with locals who said that the winters could be hard on the mood. In December, on average, you get 12 minutes of sunshine every day. In other words, the fairies people are built to be tough, and that's also something we noticed. They are straight to the point, no bullshitters, but at the same time very friendly. And perhaps it's because it's always cold that there are such warm people. Anyway, as the weather was good, we went for a short 15 minute drive to Kirkebjør. This village is regarded as the most important historical site on the Faroe Islands with its iconic thousand year old log house, Røgstovan, and the Magnus Cathedral. Han prøvede at tage knappen. Ja. The wood house here is one of the oldest in the world that are still inhabited. But half of it is of course a museum that we can visit. Do you live here? Go, come out, no, 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 no. What makes this log house so fascinating is the fact that trees don't grow on the Faroe Islands. So where did the logs come from, you might wonder? Well, legend says that the logs came as driftwood from Norway, where they were accurately bundled and numbered for being set up. Besides being of historical importance, Kirkebjør is incredibly scenic and perhaps the most idyllic and peaceful place we have ever been. It makes sense that famous painters reside here. Back in Chorshavn, we got to enjoy a shower-free stroll for the first time. Although the sun was gone, it still felt like stunning weather. On the other hand, we were not impressed with Chorshavn. With 23,000 people, it's not a tiny city, but still there wasn't much to do or see. It was almost shocking how few stores and shops there are, which left us wondering where people buy all the stuff they need. You you don't see a lot of shops here, mostly it's about art. You have some of the hottest artists here and people from New York, they fly in here to buy their art. So that's impressive. Can we have a kunst with you, Mo? Yeah. We take, we rydder a little bit on the hill. What it's easy to remember a new phone number here in Faroe Islands because it's only six digits. Three, five, three, three, five, three. There really aren't a lot of shops here in Torshavn. And we talked with a lady who said shipping to Faroe Island is not easy. Amazon, no go. And even from Denmark, most companies don't ship here. We're having a fine dine experience today. Are mm. you saying that Burger King is not fine? It's fine, but it's not great. And this is supposed to be great. I think it's one of the best restaurants on the island. Are you hungry? 
very. Most of the finer restaurants are located in Chorshavn and actually have the same owner. We also tried to get a table at Reist, but that was impossible. The food here was excellent, although not particularly Faroese. Are we eating at Burger King tomorrow or are we coming back here? Uh, we are gonna have a doggy bag, I think, and just take the rest of this roast home because there's no way that four people can finish this. But it's incredibly good. It's like going to a family home with a really good cook in the kitchen, cooking you a nice Sunday roast. It's so nice. We had three courses priced at 75 euros per person. And with two beers and a bottle of red wine, it came out to 390 euros in total. Was it worth it? I'd say so. But not enough to spend the money seven days in a row. Already we were on day six and we still had quite a bit to explore, but time was running out. We had to accept the fact that we wouldn't get to see Sandø or Suderoy since they are only accessible by ferry or helicopter. This day was dedicated to Klaxvik, a place we could not miss for obvious reasons since this is where my family is founded. This is your grandfather and my yes. great-grandfather. And I can tell you, I knew him alive, that it's just like him. Back in the... 40s, 50s, and 60s, he was the king of Faroe Islands. In fact, on such a level that he had his own money, he had a thousand workers, they would be paid with his own money because he also sold groceries, he sold everything. But the main income source was fishing and exporting, especially codfish, to Portugal, Spain, Italy, and a little bit Greece. He was gentle but could be distant family-wise, uh, always concerned about his business. He didn't pile up money uh, in the bank. He reinvested all the time, and that was what led to the end of the company. It was a special feeling to see the city of my great-grandfather, the house he lived in, and even the desk he sat at. We wanted to explore more of Klaxvik, but it was unfortunately raining non-stop. So instead we went on a little drive to Borde and Vidø, where the green natural beauty continued. At this point we could easily conclude that the Faroese people truly are taking care of their precious island. Not even once did we notice an architectural thorn in the eye. And this new tunnel system, which is completely hidden, is also a testament to this relentless focus on never interfering with nature. Back in Torsan, once again, we went on a tiny food tour where we actually found a quite nice restaurant called Carré with decent food and fair prices. We also got a chance to test the local Sunset Boulevard before wrapping up with a big bang at a fish and chip stand, something that you only find on the Faroe Islands. It is time for some legit Faroe Islandic fast food. Fish give it kipsy. I got a cheeseburger. Just to continue the burger trend here. I just asked a young gentleman in here. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked him how you are supposed to eat this. And he said, with hands or with a fork, you decide whatever you want. So I'm doing both. Mm. The fries are a revelation. So maybe it was enough to see that this was the only The whole city has come together, probably literally. literally. Um, and the reason is that today they are memorizing all the people that have died the last hundred so years. Because of traffic accidents. Because of traffic accidents. With this lovely event, Torshavn won back some points which made it harder to leave. But we had to, since my dad's travel fever required us to be by the ferry three hours early. How would you wrap up this, this visit? Review of origin. You asked me earlier if we will go to Faroe Islands again now. Well, we would like to, but there are so many other places that we have on our to-do list mm -hmm. that 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 would come short. But I would like to come and, and, and see it again, that I must say. But um, no, that's also due to my age. That was the Faroe Islands, guys. What an experience this has been. It's one of the places I have been to that is most about nature and preserving the nature. From a Danish perspective, I'm also realizing how different we are from each other, the Faroe Islandic people and the Danish people. I got to see the land of my ancestors and that was the main reason for, for coming here. But I think anyone should come to Faroe Islands. It's 
It's not a place uh, you come back to, um, in, in, in my opinion, but it's a place that, that you come to see and are happy to have seen. And the burgers are amazing. No. <laughs>